So today we're going to be looking at the remainder theorem. So when we divide polynomials, we don't always, um, we, we will often be dividing them and get a remainder. So let's consider f of x equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x plus 12. Now let's let x equal 2. So f of 2 is going to be 2 times um, 2 cubed minus 5 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 12 and that gives us 4. So what this tells us that if f of x is divided by x minus 2, then there is a remainder. So let's do it. Let's take x minus 2 and divide it by 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2 plus 12. So first we will want to get rid of the 2x cubed, so we'll do 2x um, squared first. Um, 2x squared multiplied by x minus 2 is going to give us 2x cubed minus 4x squared. So we'll put that here, 2x cubed minus 4x squared. And we're subtracting that, so that's going to be that's going to be zero. Minus five x squared minus minus four x squared is going to give us minus x squared, and this comes down two x squared plus two. Um, now we want to have minus x here, so minus x times x is going to be x minus x squared. Minus, minus, two, minus x times minus 2 is going to be plus 2x. And then we're going to subtract that so that the minus still turned to positive. That's 0. Minus 2 minus 2 is going to be minus 4x. And then we'll, the 2 is going to come down. I've written the I've written the two, it's going to be twelve plus twelve. Um, <coughs> now we're going to do um, minus four. So it's going to give us minus four x minus four times minus two is plus. Eight, and that's all going to be subtracted, so that's going to be 0. 12 minus 8 is going to be 4. And that's our remainder. But the remainder here is what we got here. So in general, a polynomial... P of x divided by x minus c gives oops a polynomial q of x and a remainder R, then P of X equals X minus C multiplied by Q of X plus the remainder R. Um, <coughs> and if we substitute 
x equals c <coughs> into our polynomial, then p of c equals r. And this leads to the remainder theorem, which I will write out. So the remainder theorem is this. If a polynomial P of X P of X is divided by X minus C the remainder is P of C and we can extend that which also leads to F a polynomial P of X is divided by ax minus b, the remainder is p of b over a. So let's use this to do a couple of examples. Use the factor theorem To find the remainder when four x cubed minus two x squared plus five x minus eight is divided by x plus one. So we're going to let, this is going to be equal to f of x and so f of minus 1 is going to be 4 times minus x cubed minus 2 minus 1 squared plus 5 times minus 1 minus 8 and that gives us minus 19. So that would be the remainder. Let's do something that's a bit more um, tricky. So f of x is 6x cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus 4. And so when f of x is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 3, and when f of x is divided by 3x plus 2, the remainder is minus 2 and so we want to find a and b. So this is our f of x so what's when f of x is divided by x minus 1 that then means that f of 1 must equal 3. So what is f of 1? So we'll have 6 of 1 cubed plus a times 1 squared plus b times 1 b minus 4. And that's going to give us 
a plus b equals 1. And we're going to call that equation 1 because we're going to end up having um, a couple of simultaneous, a simultaneous equations to work out. So then f of x is divided by 3x minus plus 2. Um, we know that f of minus be a plus here minus two over three must be minus two. So six minus two over three cubed plus a minus two over three squared plus b minus 2 over 3 minus 4 equals minus 2. Now if you work all, do all the working for that and tidy up a wee bit, it will lead to 2a minus 3b equals 17 and that we're going to call equation 2. <clears throat> so we're going to multiply equation 1 by 2 so that's going to give us 2a plus 2b equals 2 and then we've got equation 2 here which is already 2a minus 3b equals 17 and we're going to subtract them. So that's going to give us <coughs> 5b equals um, minus 15, and that's going to give us b is equal to minus 3. Substitute that back into equation 1. a minus 3 equals 1, so a must be equal to 4. And then we can put that back into our original equation f of x. So I hope that helps. <laughs>